the area of a sector. Now, I just want you to look at it in a couple of different ways. There's both formulas are actually on the formula sheet. So you can just do it in degrees if you want, or you could do it in radians. Um, you will need to know the radians one for later on when we do calculus, but you can always just do it in degrees for now anyway. So in degrees, it's what fraction of the circle, that will be the area of the sector, times pi times radius squared. Okay, so if we're looking at number one, that would be 40 on 360 times pi times, now the radius is five, so it's five squared. So for one decimal point, it is 8.7 meters squared. Okay, so if we look at number two, the angle, is pi over 3. So pi is just 180 degrees. So that would mean that that angle is actually 60. So you can use the same formula to find the area. Theta on 360 times pi times 6 squared. So you can go, the angle will be 60. So 60 on 360 times pi times 6 squared. So 60, 60 on 360 times shift pi times 3 squared. And you end up with 4.7. Okay, now we're just going to look at the third one. Um, so the third one, that's 240 degrees. So it's just 240 on 360 times pi times 4 squared. So 240 on 360 and then times shift pi times 4 squared, which will give you 33.5 meters squared. Number 4. That angle there is 20, so it's 20 on 360, because that's what fraction of the whole circle it is, times pi times 6 squared. So if you have 20 on 360, times shift pi times 6 squared, you end up with 6.3 meters squared. Now, that just gives you the orange part. So because this is a sector, and they're equal to each other. When you go to the, the other part, that's six, that's 10, you need to use Pythagoras. If you know your six, eight, 10 triangle, you're all sorted. We could do 10 squared minus six squared, which is 64, square root 64, which is eight. So that means that side length there is eight. So when you get the area, it's a half times eight times six, which is 24. And then you just add it on to the 6.3 that you found before. So you end up with 30.3 metres squared. Okay. All right, so let's just look at this one here. Now, this is like a segment, okay? So if you want to find this area, you find the whole area of the sector, which is... 30 on 360 times pi times 8 squared. And when you're finding that, you are finding the area of the whole sector, like that. Okay, and then what you need to do is you need to take away, that should be squared, take away the area of this triangle. So to get the area of the triangle, remember it's a half A, B, sine C. So it's a half times eight times eight times sine 30 degrees. So this is gonna be a half times eight times eight times sine 30 degrees. And you don't wanna do two rounded off answers. So you just put that straight in your calculator, 30 on 360 times shift pi times eight squared minus 0.5 times 8 times 8 times sine 30. And we get 0 0.76, that's to two decimal places, meters squared. 
Okay, so to find this area, it's angle on 360, that's if you did it in degrees, times pi times radius squared. So the angle is 2 pi on 3, so we need to change that to degrees. Pi is 180. 180 divided by 3 is 60. Two sixties are 120. So it's going to be 120 on 360 times pi times 4 squared. So you just work that out. 120 on 360 times shift pi times 4 squared. And you end up with 16.8 metres squared.